local, live, late breaking. This is West 2 News at 11 in high definition. Next on West 2, protecting pot. An exclusive tour of the security measures in place to keep patients safe and medical marijuana off the streets. Orlando's first medical marijuana dispensary is set to open in just a few weeks. Knox Medical Facility is on North Orange Avenue in Ivanhoe Village. And tonight, we are giving you an exclusive look inside. Amanda Crawford has the story you'll see only on WESH. There will be a, a glass wall here as you walk in, so it's a double entry system. It's our first look inside Orlando's medical marijuana dispensary. Soon, Knox Medical will look like this, the only place in Orlando to get low-level THC medication. Owner Bruce Knox says some people expect neon lights and flashy signs like in other states, but his facility is different. There's no uh, leaf or bud uh, plant products actually uh, on display, so it's, it's one of the myths that will be dispelled once we uh, get open. Knox has hired security, run background checks on employees, and installed cameras. Basically, there's a 360-degree uh, view uh, anywhere that there is product. When a patient walks in, the first thing they do is step up to this reception counter. Once their identity is confirmed, they'll get buzzed through a secure glass door. Then they're on the side where they can get their medication. You have to be a patient or a caregiver in the Office of Compassionate Use to even enter this facility. And for this patient, the dispensary will make life easier. My son has stomach spasms and Crohn's disease, and this is the only medication that we have found that's helped him. Connie Quinn tells me medical cannabis allows her son to eat and walk around. So by having this dispensary so close to home, I can take him with me. It's a way to get him out of the house, and he can go pick up his medication. For now, you won't see any other dispensaries in Orlando. There's a temporary ban. That moratorium is set to expire in June, and Orange County also has one in place now that's set to expire in May. Tara Tidro with Lowndes Law says officials must decide how many dispensaries there can be and where they'll go. Knox was grandfathered in. In her opinion, a unique opportunity. It's a benefit for a community to be able to see what a dispensary is actually like. Advocates hope this dispensary helps others understand how medical marijuana works. This medicine is an oil. It is a drop that you put under your tongue and you see results immediately. And I think that when more people understand what this medication is and what it does, I think their whole attitude toward medical cannabis changes. In Orlando, Amanda Crawford, West 2 News.